Hey everyone, this is the Viperion and welcome back to part 2 of the Streamlabs OBS tutorial where we'll be discussing on how to implement chatbox alerts, sub and donation goals for your live stream to make it feel more alive. In the previous part 1 tutorial, we've actually went through on how to live stream on your PS4 with Streamlabs OBS. So if that's your type of thing, I've left a link to the tutorial in the comment section below. With that out of the way, let's move on to setting up your widgets which are chat boxes, alert boxes and many more as shown in my live stream recording on the screen right now. So there are actually multiple different types of widgets that you can add to make your stream much more engaging but I would only focus on the alert boxes, chat boxes, subscribers slash followers and donation goals as these are the ones that people use the most. So let's start off with the alert box first. So all you have to do is to head over to sources and click on the plus sign and click on the alert box under widgets. After you add the source, you're actually basically done. Streamlabs actually simplified this so you can actually customize this according to your liking. Once you're done customizing, click on done. And basically, your alert box is already completed so you can actually adjust the size and then adjust the location on where you want the alert box to be at. And if you want to test the widget, all you have to do is to click on test widgets right here and click on one of the choices right here. I would just click on subscribers. And you can see here, the alert box actually came up. Where someone actually subscribed to me, this would actually pop up. So what you can see right here is my alert box basically has an animation and you can actually change this according to your liking. So I would actually teach you on how to actually choose your personal type of alert boxes catered to your stream in order to make your stream much more unique. And now let's move on to the chat box. All you have to do is just click on a plus sign right here and click on chat box and click on add source. And once you're in here, you can actually customize the chat box according to your liking. So there are actually one option that I would like to mention is this one at the bottom right side here. So basically, if you don't want your chat box to clutter up your entire live stream and you only want the chat box to appear whenever people are actually talking, you can actually uncheck this which says always shows message and you can actually set a timer for the chat box to actually appear on your live stream whenever someone is talking. Once you're done, just click on done and same as the alert box, you can adjust this according to where you like it. Just make sure that it's actually not blocking your live stream. Now in order for you to add your subscription or donation goals, all you have to do is just click on a plus sign right here and click on subscription goals or donation goal according to what you want. They both work quite in a similar way. Now if you're streaming on YouTube, the subscription goal is basically your subscribers. And if you're streaming on Twitch, this basically means your followers. So just click on subscription goal and add source. Now after you add the source, click on go to widget settings to actually customize your goal. It would actually open your Streamlabs dashboard and you, this is where you can actually customize your goal. Now for example, if I want to show my 1000 subscriber goals, I would just add 1000 sub goals according to what you like and the goal amount would be 1000 and the starting amount is according to when do you want to start. Like for example, currently I have about 700 plus subscribers so I would actually just put 730 subscribers this is according to how many subscribers I have right now in the making of this video. Once that's done you actually have to set a date for this so um, I would just add let's say the end of 2019 which is 12 for December 31st 2019. Once that's done I would just press on start goal so after my goal is safe you can head back to your Streamlabs and tada, you can actually see this right here. Your goal has been implemented into Streamlabs. So the bar will be according to the goals that you have set. So you can actually uh, par this together with your alert box. So let's say if you have a subscriber coming in, this would actually play and this would actually increase by one whenever someone subscribes to your channel. Now I've mentioned that the donation goal actually acts in a similar way because when you go into the donation goal, and after you add the source, you can actually edit your goal right here on the live stream platform. Now let's say if my title is I want to buy a new keyboard, so I just put new keyboard. And the goal amount, maybe the keyboard is uh, around $150, so I would just add 150 And the starting amount, I would start from zero. And same as the subscription goal, you just add the period or when you are expecting that this goal will hit. So let's say I would want to do it by the end of this month, so by 12, 31st, 2019 and start 
Go. And there you have it. You actually have your new keyboard Go right here. You can put this anywhere you want it to be. Oh, and just a little quick side note, if let's say you want to hide it without actually deleting it, you can actually see it. there's an eye icon right here. Just click on it and it will actually hide your goals. So in order for you to actually have your own customizable widgets, all you have to do is just click on the left side right here. Click on widget teams and everything that you need to know is actually just right here and just, let's just say if i want a customized uh, theme for alert boxes for goals and for my chat boxes they would actually filter down and these are the selections that actually came as a package that actually covers these three widgets that i'm looking for i do have to mention that uh, some of these widgets actually requires prime or i would say most of the widgets actually requires prime so if you actually are looking for a wide variety to actually make your live stream stands out i would highly recommend you to get prime instead but of course under free there are some choices as well but there's not as many as prime as expected so for example if i would go with the soul stone one i would just click on this one so right here you can actually see a preview of what the widgets actually look like you can actually just click on the right side right here and you can actually see it so um, let's say if i want to have all of the widgets i just click on select all and click on install pretty easy and all you have to do is just wait for the download to be done and there you go so as you can see right here it actually downloaded the entire package for me so let's say i don't want stream bosses i don't want credits i i know i don't want a view account no donation clicker i just want the donation go subscriber go chat box and alert box so as you can see the design for the subscriber goals have actually changed and for the chat box it has also actually changed and let's check on the alert box to see the new design and there you have it so that's basically what you need to know in order to add your widgets your alert boxes your chat boxes into your live stream in the next part 3 i will be doing a tutorial on how to add in automated voices that reads out comments on your live chat and also comments done by donations which are called donation shoutouts once that video is done, I will add the link to the video at the comment section down below. So do subscribe to the channel if you are new here as I make gaming tutorials, gameplays and so much more. This is the Viperian signing out and I will see you in the next video.